everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we will write a python program to print a pattern program. That is we want to print star in this shape. This is a square. First we want to print star in the square shape. Then we want star in the diagonal also. The pattern will look like this. When number of row and column is 10 the pattern will look like this. And we need to write the program for this. So to write this program first we'll ask the user to mention number of row or column because this is the square shape number of row and number of column is equal so you can ask the user to mention number of row or column in the python file first step is we'll ask the user to mention number of row and column I'll take the variable name as n and I'll use input function to take input and also we'll print this message on the output screen. I am using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value but here we want number of row which is an integer input so I need to convert input to integer using int function like this. So now we are done with the input. Next here we can see this pattern contains different row and column so we want to print stars in different row and column that's why here I'll use two for loop the first for loop is for row. And the second for loop is for column like we did in the previous all pattern programs. So first let me take for loop for row here. I'll take for i in range. How many rows I want? I want n rows right. It will start from 0 and till n minus 1. For example if I enter n as 10. Here i value will be 0 to 9. So we'll get row as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here the last value is exclusive in range function and next I'll take for loop for column and here j is the variable and here also we want same number of column. We are done. Here we can see row is starting from 0 ending at 9 that's why I took range as n in the program. Here also for column same 0 to 9. Here we didn't mention the start value that's why it will take the default value 0. Alright so now we are done with the for loop for row and column next in the pattern we can see we don't want star in every row and column right we want star in some row and column we want space in some row and column here you can see that so that's why let's write a condition for where we want star in which row and column we want star for that i am using if else conditional statement in the if we'll mention in which place in which row and column we want star let's see that in row 0 I want star in the last row that is 9th row when n is 10 this is the 9th row that is nothing but this is n minus 1 so we want star when i is 0 that is nothing but row when i is n minus 1 that is the last row then j is 0 that is column first column in the last column last column is nothing but n minus 1 so this is the condition for this square box i is 0, i n minus 1, j is 0, j n minus 1. So let's do that. If i is equal to equal to 0, I need to use equal to equal to comparison operator here. And here I will use logical or. If i is not equal to 0, I need to check for the next condition to print the star. That's why j is equal to equal to 0. Or i is equal to equal to n minus 1. That is the last row. Or j is equal to equal to last column n minus 1 okay now we are done with the square box next we have few more conditions now we need to write the condition for this this diagonal so first let's see here when row is 1 column is 1 when row is 2 column is 2 row 3 column 3 row 4 column 4 row 5 column 5 row 6 column 6 row 7 column 7 row 8 column 8 that is nothing but when row is equal to equal to column right it will print star here also but it's okay it will overlap that the condition is when row is equal to equal to column here i is equal to equal to j because i and j are the variables representing row and column respectively okay so for the next here we want to print this now let's see so this star is present in row 0 column 9 this is at row 1 column 8 this is at row 2 column 7 right this is at row 3 column 6 this is at row 4 column 5 row 5 column 4 row 6 column 3 
row 7 column 2 this is at row 8 column 1 this is at 9 0 ninth row column 0 now here if I add these two numbers 0 and 9 that is i plus j I'll get 9 here also I'll get 9 here also I'll get 9 here also I'll get 9 in every case I'll get 9 so I'll take the condition as if i plus j is equal to 9 what is 9 here that is n minus 1 value n is 10 9 is nothing but n minus 1 value so here if i plus j is equal to equal to n minus 1 then print star so these are the condition to print star in in this row we want star so here print star and here i'll take end is equal to space or you can take empty string in print function end value is slash n default value of end parameter is slash n that is after printing any message it will go to the next line but here we don't want that after printing star like after printing this star we want this star in the same line we want this star in the same line that's why here we are using end is equal to empty string now here i need to take else for if in this places in this row and column i want to print star other than this row and column i want to print space so just print space and i need to take end is equal to empty string here also that is in a row after printing one space we want next space after that in the same line that's why we are using end is equal to empty string next here i need to use print function after completing a row here after printing row 0 we need to go to row 1 and we need to print stars or space of row 1 in the next line right so we need to go to the next line for every row we need to go to the next line that's why i need to use this print function inside this for loop for row outside this for loop for column done so we are done with the program let's execute this enter the number of row and column so i'll enter 10 and here you can see the pattern here you can see the pattern three bigger numbers like 20 you can see the pattern right okay so this is about this pattern to print this pattern first you need to write the condition for this square box then diagonal here we are using same method which we used for previous pattern programs first we'll take the input next we'll use two for loops and we'll use if condition and we'll mention in which row and column we want to print star and next in the else part we'll print space and here this print function for the new line after every row all right so this is about this pattern program thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care